Hi, this is the um, Do You Want to Build a Snowman um, project? And I am using a MyBesties image and digital image. And the image's, image name is Emmett. And you can find it um, online. And I will put the link underneath my video so you can see where this image is. Um, again, this is 3D. And I've already cut my image. I had printed it off four times and um, I started coloring it and decided I really wanted to go with the Disney Frozen theme and I started coloring it red and I thought ooh I really need to do with the purple and the aqua so it doesn't matter um, that the red is on the bottom because I will be stacking these layers on top of each other and you won't see the red unless you really look underneath but you won't because it'll be on a project so um, this is the first time that I've been able to use um, both of my hands and put this together. And I was kind of excited to see how this will work. So I've already put the um, foam tape on the back to make it a little bit easier to make this um, project in front of the camera. Um, there are all of my foam, the foam tape that I use. And this is going to be my base, like I said. And all I'm going to do is line that up and put that right on top. And you're probably wondering, why didn't she color or finish coloring? Again, I don't need to because I am layering and it will be covered up totally. I don't know if I got that exactly the way I want it, but it looks pretty good. Okay, so then that was layer two. This will be layer three. And my tape is kind of sticking to my, there it goes, my place. And then this has to be lined up. And you can see right now I didn't include the hat to give that the 3D effect. The top of the hat. Adding the scarf. And there's that. And then I'm also going to add the buttons. Let's see if I can get them. There we go. And those will go right on top of those. Give that dimensional look. One more. And then my last layer. So actually layering these together really doesn't take any time. What takes the time is coloring it. And then there's a lot of um, My Besties um, images that are already pre-colored for you and you don't even have to color them. Um, and so that's kind of cool too. But I colored mine and cut it out. And that's really what takes the longest is cutting it out. Um, putting it together takes no time and it's really gives you a lot of satisfaction when you finish. Now um, this very last piece is the nose and you can tell that it's very tiny and even the foam, if you can see that, even the foam that I've put on the back, let's see if I can, there we go, you can see how tiny that is. Um, lots of times people will use silicone glue and if I could find some decent silicone glue, that's what I would have done instead. Um, so anyway, I actually embellished this on top of that. I will put some stickles on him once I get finished. I will probably go ahead and add, because there's a lot of places where I have gone over the line because it's so tiny, I will probably use the white opaque gel pen and fill that in better. And then, like I said, add some embellishments to the top of him um, by, like I said, stickles and the gel pins. But anyway, this is what he looks like. You want to see him close up? There we go. And then that's the layers. And actually, he's pretty sturdy. He stands up pretty well. So when I go to put him on my finished project, um, you will be able to see how well he stands up. So I'm going to continue with my project and share that with you. Okay, so this is going to be your next step. We are actually going to be making a step um, card. And it's a real basic one. And the instructions for this is on Split Coast Stamper. And I'm going to also put that on the bottom underneath my video. Um, basically, this is a card base that um, measures 5.5 by 10.5. And, and then you have increments where you score a new um, mountain and valley fold. And you end up making... A step card. So um, what I'm going to be doing that's a little bit different 
is I'm going to be using my dies, my circle dies. <clears throat> and um, the larger one is five and a quarter, and the smaller one is four inches. And as you can see, I'm going to put this right in my paper just like that and run it through. Why? Because I want this shape. And then when I'm done with that shape, I'm going to cut it. And um, you'll be able to see when the card is completed what I did. But just to give you a basic idea is this circle is going to go back in its same form. And it is going to sit on this card just like that. Um, let's see if I can hold it and tilt, tilt it just a little bit. Basically, it's going to go like that. And it's going to look like it's kind of got like um, a halo. Um, and what I'm going to do is... Um, the instructions also in Split Coast tell you how to put all your paper, your um, designer paper, in all these sections. It gives you the exact measurements that you need. And um, eventually what it's going to look like, just to give you an idea of what I'm trying to do, is my snowman is going to be sitting underneath that and he's going to have a lot of snowflakes. Um, hopefully um, coming down towards him. So that is what my intention is and I will continue on with my project. All right, this is another step into making my um, Do You Want to Build a Snowman card. And as you can see, I have already added the different um, pattern paper on each layer. And then I've also added the um, circle. And I, it, you can see how I attach that. And um, you can also see some um, sparkly fibers. I put a little bit of double-sided tape and I've used some fibers that I had. Actually, I'll show you what it, um, this is what I have. I bought that at a charity shop. I can't even tell you um, where it came from or anything, but it's going to last me for a very long time, and I use it all the time. Um, my intention is I'm going to put snowflakes um, hanging down from that. Um, and the other thing is, is I also cut out, um, the reason you can see the tape and everything is I also cut out another strip. And this strip is going to go over that. And um, I'll show you what that looks like once I can do that. But I really need to do that off um, the video. Well, I finished my project. And this is what it looks like laying down and not standing up because of the way my camera goes. But at any rate, um, these are some of the embellishments that I used. If you can see this one right here, that is aqua. And I got it from... Um, this store and then the other thing I did is I used some snowflake dies that came from your next stamp that's the name of the company your next stamp and they also carry dies and they worked really good as you can see all throughout my um, card and I also used some purple um, pearls on there and uh, the other thing I did which I really wanted you to see is I went outside and I picked up some sticks in my yard and I'm actually using real sticks for his arms so I was kind of excited about that the other thing I did was I made the sentiment on my computer do you want to build a snowman and so it all ties in together so um, I can't really set it up either the um, snowman's still wet with the stickles I did put on him and um, so I'm going to take some pictures and put my video together for you to see the whole thing thank you